if you're new to my channel welcome if you are a returning subscriber hello darling okay sweetie thank you for coming back so in today's video um we are going to be doing or i'm going to be showing you and sharing with you the um, 31 days of proverbs it's a challenge i saw this challenge on tiktok literally on the 31st of july i saw this challenge and i was just like why not join it okay so basically what happens is that um since there are 31 days in august and there are 31 chapters in the book of proverbs each and every day you read one chapter of the book and today is day two because today is the second of today is the second of august <laughs> excuse me today is the second of august so it's day two I have my study material with study material but i have my thingy thingies that i'm gonna be using so basically what happens is that you read your bible like you read the verse that you're supposed to read and then you pray it's like, it's almost like a quiet time type of thing you understand so if you'd like to join this video will be out on the third so you're not gonna be like left behind left behind because you're like three days late nyana you know so yeah if you want to join hop in the chat i actually like challenges like these challenges because somehow they keep me like they teach me accountability if that makes sense because i know what each and every day i'm supposed to do a certain thing and yeah so let's get started as you can see this is yesterday's one it's what i was doing yesterday so today i'm gonna be writing day two so today is day two chapter two so what I did yesterday is that I first listened to um, worship music because, you know, it just brings me, like it creates the atmosphere, you know. I listened to worship music and then after that, I read my Bible and then after reading, I pray. But for me, I just wrote the prayer down, like for when I want to go back whenever and go through my notes and all of that. And basically this prayer is to help me achieve whatever that I've read I've read in that verse. So today we're going to be doing chapter two from the book of Proverbs. Okay. So I'm not sure if I should read it or not. So what I basically do now. I go, for example, here, I write down, I mean, I underline the parts that touched me. And then I'm actually going to ask God to help me in those areas. You know what I mean? So, for example, there are parts that are underlined here and here. This is a long time ago. And here, I'm actually a fan of underlining, so... Okay, today I'm going to start with chapter 2. Okay, I'm just gonna, yeah, I won't read for you guys. I'll just use this as my quiet time. And I won't pray online because I somehow gonna, I'm going to feel like it's not sincere enough or it's not yeah so i'm just gonna write each and everything down probably share with you what i learned after that and then yeah mm. 
I'm sorry if this is going to be reflecting and it's going to distract you, but I can't see it. Okay, so um, I'm done reading Proverbs 2 from verse 1 up to verse 22. So now I'm going to be writing down my prayer. Okay, so what I liked from the book of Proverbs, the second chapter, is the part where Solomon says, For the Lord gives wisdom. From his mouth comes knowledge and understanding. And there's another part that says, For wisdom will enter your mind and knowledge will delight in your heart. And then another part says, so follow the way of good people and keep to the path of the righteousness. For the upright will inhabit the land and those of integrity will remain in it. It's basically telling us about those who do wrong will perish and those who do right will inhabit the land. I mean, we always, they always been telling us that obedience is better than sacrifice so if you are obedient to the word of god if you are obedient to his teachings you will inhabit the land and if you don't you will perish yeah that's that's what i got from the verse i mean the chapter for today and this is my young prayer and then now when I close off the video, I am going to pray properly and finish off my session with music, which is on my phone, which I'm using to record. That's basically it for today. So if you guys still want to join, you can definitely do that. I feel like it's for me it's exciting because oftentimes we do read the bible but we don't really read it read it you know we read it because we have to read it not because we want to i'm not sure if i'm making sense so right now i've dedicated the 31 days to literally reading and learning what this book is about because we all know that the book of proverbs is a very uh, well, there's a lot of riddles going on. So, it's nice to kind of sort of like put the puzzles together. Am I making sense? Anyway, I don't want this video to be long, but I'm done what I was supposed to do for the day. And I prefer doing it at night instead of in the morning. There are people that does it in the morning and then they practice whatever that they're supposed to do during the day. 
but I prefer doing it at night and then the following day I practice each and everything that I've learned the previous night so y'all yeah, that's it for today if you guys want to join me on this challenge you are more than welcome to do that and maybe at the end of the, the thingy the 31 days we can discuss what we have learned what we took from um, the teachings of Solomon who knows anyway yeah that's all for today let me go do my assignment <laughs> thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed my video please give it a thumbs up and if you did not subscribe to my channel as yet please please do subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification bell to be part of the notification gang here until next time bye